Hello! I'm going to do a little review of a new foam roller product that was given to me from a friend. So this is my friend's business and company and product and I am just exploring it for the first time literally right now. I just took the wrapping off. So what is this cool looking pretty foam roller? It is called Ocean Foam and here are some things that it says in the package. The first foam roller made from algae. What does that mean? So it says this foam roller is, the, the algae is harvested in the United States. The paper packaging is made from algae using eco energy. So they harvest the algae and then it's made in China. The center core is recycled EVA foam and the outer layer is 15% bloom algae foam. All right, so it says made with bloom sustainable materials and each foam roller's environmental impact. Clean water, 26.2 gallons of water cleaned and restored to the environment, clean air, 75.1 grams of carbon dioxide cleaned from the air. So I am an environment enthusiast in many ways. I work with holistic approaches to the body and working with connective tissue and fascia. And so I'm always interested in products that are better for the environment. So this is what it looks like. Really cute. They have a small travel size too as well. Um, and I haven't used it yet. So um, let's, let's do something. What are we going to do? Let's do the lats on this. All right. So you're going to take your foam roller. I will add a link here and we're going to come down on your side. You're going to place your armpit just below your armpit over the foam roller. Okay. It has little grooves on it. It's fun to touch. It feels good to touch it. Feels good here too in the lats. You're going to settle in a spot that feels that's a little bit tender, but you're not going to put all body weight into it. You know, this is pretty firm and hard, so you don't want to sink and like make yourself uncomfortable. So you can kind of prop yourself up, use your core a little bit. So let's create a little movement with some rotator. Okay. You're going to rotate the hand slightly back. And you're going to take the other hand to the back of the hand or the elbow that's on the ground. Resist lightly into it as you guide it forward. So the elbow that's down, that hand is resisting back where you shorten the tissue. The hand that's on the back of the arm is overpowering or bringing it back. Relax everything to start again. So you're resisting back. So you're contracting in the lats where the foam is touching. And slowly guide that hand forward. Relaxing the other neck and shoulders so that you feel comfortable there. Relax to bring it open. We have one more. Make a little adjustment. Resisting back and guiding the hand forward. Good. And let it release. And gently work to come up. Switch sides. Okay. Take the foam down. All right. Okay. Find your first location. Okay. Slight chin tuck. Elbows on the ground, bring the hand back to shorten the tissue more. Other hand's going to reach up and back behind. Okay, resisting the hand back. So you're contracting in the muscles where they're touching the foam roller. Other hand is going to overpower and bring the hand forward. So on a scale of zero to 10 for how much you're resisting the hand, 10 being the most, zero being none, you're only at like a one or two. So it's pretty light. And then you keep the movement going as long as you're able to still maintain a light contraction of the muscle. Little adjustment, one more time, resisting. I could also see putting a towel over this one as you're executing it. Hand comes to the ground, nice and easy to come up. Just for a little extra softness because really the foam is offering a hard surface for us to pin. So this one way I would definitely use this ocean foam foam roller, not to mention like it's pretty, I like pretty things. 
and it feels good and it's good for the environment. So give it a try. Let me know what you think and have a great day.